This past election cycle, Nebraska's second congressional district was close enough to draw former President Donald Trump to Omaha to campaign. It's because Nebraska is one of just two states to split up its electoral college votes. Now, Senator Julie Slama wants to get rid of the system, joining the 48 other states with a winner-take-all system. Point of this bill that every single voter in the state has the same say and that we're not splitting up votes by congressional district to give more swing to some voters than others. Slama says when the bill was passed three decades ago, many thought other states would join Nebraska, but did not. No state has changed this to this system since Nebraska did in 1991. She was joined by executive director of the state GOP, Ryan Hamilton, who went as far as to call the current system a voter inflation scheme. He says the party has wanted to move on for decades. It's been a long-standing priority for the party. My understanding is the reversal of this measure has been in our state party platform since likely the year it passed, 1992. Many opponents say they're in favor of getting rid of the Electoral College altogether, but call Nebraska's system a good compromise. Nebraska and Maine have said we could at least make it a little bit better. Perhaps the most fervent opposition came from Preston Love Jr. What are you fixing? It's worked well. Love says members of the black community in Omaha feel empowered that they have a say in the presidential race and want to keep it that way. Undoing that uh, sends a very bad message to my community about how Nebraska feels about it. In the afternoon, Senator Slama pushed her voter ID bill that came with an additional amendment. For one, it would require the state to fund any IDs for Nebraskans that cannot afford them and also provide some exceptions so some Nebraskans would not have to show an ID at all. Secretary of State Bob Evans supported the bill and the amendment. We have to make sure that it's easy to vote and hard to cheat. Evans says the state could ensure that 2% of Nebraskans that don't have an ID gets one. With a very small percentage of people lacking, you know, not, not in possession of them, we can figure that out. But Senator Megan Hunt we of Omaha everyone. pushed back, saying there's no voter fraud in Nebraska, and the bill and its amendment would create a network of bureaucracy for those looking for an ID. It's going to be a nightmare for everybody. Um, this is big government to me. This is more bureaucracy. This is not streamlined. In Lincoln, John Kipper, Free News Now.